Today we have the Master Dynamics MW07N Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless Earbuds and we're going to put them against each other in these areas so you can figure out which one is in fact the right earbuds for you. What's up friends, it's Mike again. Welcome back to another tech review where I find awesome things to simplify your life. I know it's gonna be quite a long review, so for your convenience, I put everything in the timestamps below so you can skip to the parts that are most important to you. And also, I'm happy to tell you guys that we're getting in the BNO E8 2.0s in for review as well. So if this video has helped you in any way at all and you wanna see more, like and subscribe to support the channel and turn that notification on to get the latest updates or else YouTube won't do so. And without further ado, let's get right into the comparison. So first of all, we're gonna start with sound quality. And I know this is going to be very subjective, people listen to different kinds of music, but in this case, the Sennheisers do a lot better with the detail, clarity, and separation in sounds. So I've been comparing the two of these, listening to them side by side, one after the other, and one thing that is undeniable is that I can hear the littlest things with the Sennheisers while I couldn't hear them with this. So I definitely think there's a lot more details in this. And also, although both of these have a large sound stage, I will say the detail and the clarity gives it a lot more separation between the sounds, so this sounds more 3D, and there's just a lot more dynamics and bass depth with the Sennheisers. And don't get me wrong, they're both top-tier sounding earbuds. And what that means is that with other earbuds, you can listen and hear music, but with these, it really lets you experience your music. The sound is really immersive, and it really feels like it creates a 3D space in between your ears. And while these sound great, they're crisp and clean in the bass, mids, and highs, but the Sennies just have a bit more detail and clarity in them. So if I was gonna rate these out of 10 in terms of sound quality, I would give the Master and Dynamics an 8.5 and the Sennheiser at a 9 to a 9.3. And this is for true wireless earbuds only. I'm not comparing like wire earbuds or like headphones, okay guys? So if you're paying the same price for both of these, why not get better sound? And now we're gonna go over the major differences between the two. So if you do wanna configure your sound a bit more, the Sennies do have an app that you can use and it has an equalizer in it so that you can configure the sounds to the ones that sound the best to you. And in the software, it lets you choose whether or not you want to pause your music when you take an earbud out or not. But unlike the Master Dynamics, it doesn't give you that option. So when you take it out, it always pauses your music and because it has no software or app, you're just gonna have to accept the sound for what it is. Both of these do not have active noise cancelling, but it uses passive noise isolation by creating a tight seal using these ear tips. And that's great because it minimizes sound leaking so that people can't really hear what you're listening to and it also blocks off some of the ambient sound around you so that you can truly enjoy your music. And if you want to know what that feels like, just use your fingers and plug your ears like this. And when you're walking on the streets or in the office, you can definitely still hear the street sounds, the bus sounds, like cars and stuff, and even people talking. But if you turn up your volume higher a bit, those will naturally disappear and it's not really that big of a deal. And by the way, if you do need to hear what's outside, the Senius does have the hear through feature while this does not. And I do find this feature really useful because when you're walking on the street, running or biking, you want to know what's coming at you and really just avoid getting hit by a car. Or you can even talk to people with both your earbuds on instead of taking one off or talking to people like this because you can't hear the volume of your own voice and we have all been there and done that. And the hear through feature on this is actually the best that I've ever tried on all true wireless earbuds. It sounds the most natural and because there's super low latency between the two earbuds, there's absolutely no hissing sounds or static sounds at all. But I can't say the same with the MW07s. There is that hissing sound and it's kind of like a white noise sound when it's silent. And by the way, the Sennheisers do use Bluetooth 5.0 while this uses an older Bluetooth 4.2. However, the connection quality is still very reliable. With both of these, when you take them out of the case, they connect to your previous connected device right away. And also, the connection is quite strong. There's no lag or stutters at all when I'm watching movies, Netflix, or even when I video edit with these. And the funny thing is that even though this uses an older tech, and by the way, I didn't miss this on my dedicated review of this, but I'm happy to tell you that this can actually connect to two devices at the same time. And what that means is that you can connect it to your phone and your computer and switch seamlessly between them without messing with your Bluetooth settings, unlike the Sennheisers that can't do that. But thankfully, this uses Bluetooth 5.0, which means it can be upgraded in the future so that it can have multi-point sync. But for now, it is what it is and they can't do that. So this multi-sync feature is definitely an advantage for these, especially if you do calls. And speaking of calls, both of these have a mic on the right earbud so that you can make calls with. And if you want to use a single earbud only, it only works with the right earbuds for both of them and not the left. The Sennheisers do feature a voice isolating call quality where it focuses on your voice versus the background, but these do not. And the best way to show you this is to actually do a call quality test. And you're welcome. Hey guys, so this is what it sounds like. We're trying to emulate a coffee shop background environment and we're using the speaker right here to do that. It's right in front of the camera mic, so this is what it sounds like right now. And when we switch over to the Sennheisers right here, 
So this is what it sounds like right now. Is it isolating my voice? Can you still hear the background sounds a lot? So testing one, two, three. These are the Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless Earbuds. And of course, I brought my fan so we can try with the wind noise. And from past experience with the Jabra's, these are gonna suck with the wind noise. So here it is. So this is what it sounds like with the pan on. I'm sure you can't really hear anything right now. And uh, yeah, I'm testing one, two, three. Okay, so anyways, we're gonna switch to the Master and Dynamics. And okay, we have the Master Dynamics in my ears right now. And this is what it sounds like, testing one, two, three. Dynamic sound. And of course, we have the fan again, so here it is with the wind noise. How does it deal with the sound? Testing one, two, three. Do you hear a lot of fluffing sounds? And can you hear me at all? So I'm not gonna know what it actually sounds like until I test that. So comment below and tell me which one's better. So both of these are priced the same, and I really think you're getting a lot more value in terms of sound quality and features of the Sennheisers than the MW07s. Now, the MW07s does have its advantages, specifically in comfort, secure fit, design, and build quality. In terms of comfort, I do have to give the advantage to the MW07s because it uses these really soft flex fins over here and it secures itself on the inside part of my ear so it sits there naturally. Versus the Sennies, which secure themselves using the top ridge of my ear right here, which may bother some people. But really, it's a marginal difference because when you have them both in, they're really light and I don't really feel them when they're in my ear. And after my comfort test, which means I watch Netflix for like two or three hours with each earbuds at a time, and <laughs> yes, that is a lot of Netflix. So after that, I can definitely say that they're both just as comfortable. I didn't experience any ear fatigue at all. You know that sound when you have earbuds in and when you're walking, you hear this like ung, ung, ung sound? Those are actually the vibration sounds from your body movements all the way up to your earbuds. And I'm glad to say that there's actually very little of that in both of these earbuds. And of course, we have a shake test for you to see which is more secure. So shaking like that, they're both pretty secure. And now I'm gonna shake more violently sideways to see which is gonna fall out. Let me readjust them first and now. Uh, so, the Sennheisers did come out first. So maybe it's because it's a bit bigger, a bit heavier. Don't quote me on that. I don't actually know the weights of these. But the fact is that this is still in my ear. And actually, let me try out with the other ears as well. So here it goes. Yep. Yep, the Sennheisers do fall out more easily than the MW07, so these are more secure for sure. But I mean, like, I do understand that no one's gonna shake like that. So unless you're like wearing these for kickboxing and getting hit in the face, I think you're gonna be okay wearing this for sports, commuting, the office, or whatever. And I do want to mention that they're both rated at IPX4. That's the basic water resistant rating where you're safe to use it for working out, getting really sweaty in your ear, and light splashes. But I mean, if you're getting drenched and walking in the rain or like falling in the water, these are not going to survive those. So unless you want to risk $300 down the drain, I wouldn't risk it in those situations. Anyways, I think a more important question is, how do these earbuds look on you? When you put them in your ear, the Sennheisers do stick out a bit more over here. So I'm gonna put them both side by side over here with me turning my head. So yeah, I don't know guys. Comment below and tell me which one you like more. And the last thing about these earbuds is that this uses hardware buttons versus this uses touch controls. And with me, you guys should know by now that I favor hardware buttons. These are very easy to use and it's very easy to hold on to as well. You can just hold on to the bottom part over here and click like this. And that's really nice because you don't have to tap like this and get those like weird thumping sounds. <sighs> which happens to be the case with the Sennheisers. So with Sennheisers, the touch control, it's activated by just tapping and you get those thumping sounds. And in the dedicated review of these, I mentioned how the touch controls weren't too intuitive and there's very imprecise volume control which can frustrate you. And you know what, really, it's just a personal preference. If you like touch controls, good on you. If you don't, oh yeah. And last but not least, we have the build quality of the cases. So they both use USB Type-C to charge, and I mean, that's very convenient, and it's a standard in 2019, so good job, guys. But the obvious advantage with the Sennheisers is that the earbuds are secured magnetically, like this, so that they don't fall out, but the MW07s do not have that. They just kind of fall out like this. It's not that big of a deal, but I mean, you're paying the same price. I don't know why they couldn't have just added that in. Anyways, they both have a magnetic closure over here. They both have a very satisfying click when you close them and open them. Come on. And this is really nice because it doesn't use any plastic hooks that may break in the future. And having magnets is just a bit more premium. And yes, with both cases, when you close them or open them, it does have a battery indicator showing you how much battery is left. And speaking of battery life, I think it is a tie in this situation because each charge in the earbuds can hold four hours and by putting them in, you can have two more charges. But with this, it's only 3.5 hours and it'll give you two extra charges in the case. 
But as I mentioned before, this does have a battery draining issue because when you put the earbuds in, they're never turned off. It's always on standby mode and your battery will drain regardless if you use it or not. And this does not do that. So uh, shorter battery life, but this drains. But the Sennheisers might have an update to fix that soon. So uh, until then, they're the same. And if you haven't noticed by now, the Master and Dynamics case is really beautiful and it's a fingerprint magnet. So if we go closer a bit over here, from far you might not be able to see it, but closer you should. Oh, mmm, mmm, all those fingerprints, that's nasty. So if you're a person who's kind of OCD like me, uh, I'll be wiping it the whole time like this. Or if you put it in your pocket and walk around, it should get rid of it. Or it comes with this really nice case over here that you can just open and pop it in to protect it from scratches and fingerprints. But I mean, it adds that extra bulk. The Sennheisers, it just uses a cloth exterior like this. It's not gonna get scratched or anything. It's quite durable. I've used this for like three months already and it's <laughs> it hasn't turned yellow yet from being in my pocket for so long. So uh, yeah, it's clean or I'm clean I don't know either one but I'm sure in the future it's gonna get dirty or whatever and uh, I might have to wash it with a toothbrush I don't know I'll let you guys know when it happens and also the case is bigger on the Sennheisers than the MW07 just by a bit and it's shorter as well so when I do put this in my pocket it does feel a lot better it's actually heavier than the Sennheiser case and with this size and this weight it actually feels like a jewel in my hand it's so precious and so precious but it's a lot more to maintain, to keep clean, and to keep unscratched. I do think it's important to know that this case will be more durable because if you drop this, it's gonna be fine. But if you drop this, this is gonna probably dent and look bad for the rest of its lifetime. So just be careful of this. So overall, you do get better sound and better features with the Sennheisers at the same price. So I would definitely recommend the Sennheisers over these. And I really wanted to like this because it does look really good and it feels premium in my hands. But you know what, for the money that you're putting in, you're just not getting as much out. So the only reason you would get the Master Dynamics over the Sennheisers is if you really need the multi-point connection and you like the aesthetics, design, and build quality so you can show it off on the streets, getting people's attention, turning them heads, you know? And <laughs> let's be real here, guys. You're trying to get girls. Or guys. And again, they're both top tier sounding earbuds in the true wireless earbuds category, but for the money and everything, Sennheisers, guys. Sennheisers. Anyways, I really hope I help you guys figure out which one is the right earbud for you. And guys, ask away if you have any questions at all. I'll try to reply to as many comments as I can. And again, we're going to be getting the BNO E8 2.0 info review as well. And I'm very excited for that. So if this video has helped you in any way at all and you want to see more, you know what to do. Like and subscribe and turn that notification on because again, YouTube ain't going to show you my videos if you don't do that. And that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next review. Bye. And if you guys are wondering between the sound quality between the Jabra 65Ts and the MW07s, these are a lot better. The sound stage is bigger while these feel a bit boxed in. With this, you're gonna get a more expansive sound and it really creates that 3D space between your head and sounds are just like, ooh. You know? And, but don't get me wrong, this is good for what it is. It has a punchy bass that feels like this. But with the larger sound stage, the bass feels more like vroom. And I know that's not the best way to describe things, but I think the word we're looking for is bass depth. Anyways, you're not gonna go wrong with the Jabra 65Ts at this price, but if this came down in price, then I'd totally recommend this over this in terms of sound quality.